It's a time for more packages from China. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, I wanted to take a close look at this Mega Drive portable or called Arcada. I'm confused with this device because when I picked it up, they said it came with some homebrew games, 16-bit stuff. And when I just unboxed it, I noticed it says Mega Drive portable. So I don't know what's going on over here. So this is what we're going to find out today. It comes including a special cable with a barrel jack and USB, 5 volt of course for charging it. Here we're going to get the AV out cable for the AV out functionality. The device itself, the first thing I'm noticing, it weighs quite heavy. The design, I have personally never seen it before. There was only one seller on AliExpress who was selling this. So let's unbox it and what the hell? <laughs> it gives me like... Okay, that is kind of weird. So they are giving me like a cable for charge it, but there is no battery inside. Over here, we're going to get the on-off switch, the input for the 5 volt. I, was assuming, I think what you can do is just like use an external. There is no way of charging. We have an AV out over there with a the tiny 2.5 inch. Yeah, the old school jack connection. We have a headphone out and here we're having this slider for volume control. But does it still work? Yep, it still works. Okay, let's grab myself some batteries and we're going to power it on because I'm now curious what you're going to get. It says here the ZWH105. So basic explanation, this is like the really old school toilet paper manuals. Can we fold it open or what? Yeah, we can fold it open. Oh, there is nothing here. Okay. Ah, here it says like the built-in game list. Oh boy. Okay, so what is going on here? I'm guessing they have an old system laying around and they just added some new games to it or what the hell, the Micro Boy Pro. But here's a set Mega Drive Portable. Oh boy, this is really freaking mess. But first, let's get some batteries. All right, so I've put in the batteries and let's take a close look at it. And let's power on this bad boy. Mega Drive Portable Arcada. Oh boy, what the hell is going on? Oh, what a weird situation we're having here. But the display they're using in this device, if I'm seeing it correctly, it's a 3.5 inch LCD. And this is not an IPS what I've seen with the new generation. This is just old school tech. And the family sport, this piece of software you're seeing here, I've seen it before in mini arcade machines. And this song is going to get stuck in your head. But okay guys, so we're going to get an ABXY, there is no shoulder buttons, the D-bed itself feels kind of flimsy, reset, and we're going to get the start. So every time we're going to get the Mega Drive Portable. That is so confusing. So the only thing I can say that maybe they use a shell for a Mega Drive slash Genesis system, mini games. So let's take a close look at the mini games itself. Puzzle, action, racing action Harry fighter robot war Frogger Seriously like hey, isn't that a Kirby character? Oh, uh, this is more like this game we have seen with arcade games Oh, and it also shoots like the Kirby character Ah, crap! What? They're coming back. Oh, the controls are really bad. Let's do a quick reset. Okay, so having the tennis boxing games, dart bowling. I would not be surprised that this piece of software can be found on a weak clone system. Are we going to get different specs? Holy crap, the sound goes really loud now. Who won? So this is more like 32-bit-ish quality when it comes to the gameplay. If you like these old school golf games, you'll like it. The audio itself over here, the mono speaker, is not bad at all. Woohoo! And it's... wait. Oh crap. Did I just mess it up? Yep, I did. I messed it up. Oh boy, the tennis settings. Oh crap, I just chose the stage hard. 
The sound effects are not bad at all. Even the sound itself. Yep, there's absolutely like the same stuff that you can find on a Wii clone system. That's it. Like, I'm only pressing the button A all the freaking time. I can do this all freaking day, my friend. Bring it on. Woo! Come on! Come on! Yo! Oh, oh crap! The most interesting ones are like the puzzle games, the mini games you get. Here we're going to get the weirdest ones. Rolling box, sea fight, pocket change. <laughs> pocket change? What the hell? <laughs> okay, so let's go to the other page. Action Venture. I think they mean adventure or what? Oh, let's see. Table. I'm guessing they call puzzle games or something like that. Oh, no, they were like a puzzle game. Fruit Family. Bomb Man. Okay, there's a game I need to try. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Embalmer Man ripoff. And we're going to blow up the bushes. Oh, this music goes really loud. Holy crap. Oh, boy. So, this system is filled with these games. Robot War is the name of this one. But, like, basic games, they do like very nice. D-pad is very responsive. Oh. And the only thing they really like shooting. It's more like a tank game. Yeah. I'm on the roll, baby. I'm on the roll. Come on. I'm on the roll. Come on. Ooh. All right, next up, let's try the AVL function before I'm going to forget it. Let's turn it on. It's going to be duplicating. Nope, it's just shutting down the LCD over here. And we can play some game this way. Oh man, it looks really stretched now. I think the fun part of this device is the mini games. Because the basic games like the Wii knockoff games are not that great. Do we have a Tetris clone or what? I think not. Like, I couldn't find it before. Maze combination. Eat Beam, Fruit Family, Herculean Guy, or oh, something like that. What the hell? Oh, he does walk automatically. Or not, no. Of course, he did that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, so let's do a quick peek in the inside. Let's open it up, because I find it still very interesting housing or how it looks in general if you have seen this device before with uh, some mega drive games or maybe something else let me know in the comments it's a really old product and how old it is that is what we're going to find out now this is one of the reasons i wanted to open up sometimes we can find these time stamps on the pcbs that indicates the let's say that when yeah, when it just was produced oh yeah you that see what i did there i broke the seal all right, I think that's it. I opened them all up. Or did I miss out something? No, I think I did miss out, but... Oh, oh no, it's already loose. Oh, okay. Come on. All right, let's open it up. Come on. He doesn't want to come. He doesn't want to come. That's the thing I like. Always you need to get rid of the, all the freaking parkers. Yep, and there it goes. So the shell is quite thick, very thick plastic. That is something I noticed straight away when holding it in my hand. It feels like a really durable handheld. So it's a shame that it didn't include it with some Mega Drive games. The only thing I wanted to know is the date. Over here we're going to get some more information. It only says the number or the type number in this revision 1.6. Over here we're going to get the wires for the speaker that's at the front. I was saying like it's very loud. Some old school capacitors. The chip itself is made in Japan. Let's see, it says here Fujitsu Devices Inc. So they are losing a Japanese chip inside. Would this be like a real nice made in Japan product? No, it says made in China on the box itself. 
but there was no date indication whatsoever so that's a little bit of a bummer this piece of plastic will use it in combination with the slider over here but there was no way of attaching a battery so that's also one thing i wanted to see the ribbon cable for the lcd but that's it that's what we're going to get in the inside of course nothing much because it's pretty basic technology Okay guys, so this is what you're going to get with this confusing name handheld Mega Drive Portable Arcada or known as the Micro Boy Pro. It's kind of weird, like it looks like a Mega Drive handheld but it isn't. Yeah, again let me know in the comments if you haven't ever seen this in your local town or store. But nevertheless, it's a great product when it came with some Mega Drive game but this is just like a really basic piece of technology this way. The games are really basic like Wii knockoffs. All homebrew stuff and it's not even the fighting game that I found on my arcade machine back in the day that was a ripoff of King of Fighters. I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit the little bell, become on the Wicked family and I will see you in the next video.